you are most welcome to this channel and watch this video right till the end and i promise it's going to create a great impact in solving this problem here is the problem from numerical solutions of ordinary differential equations and using euler's method we have to solve numerically the equation y dash is equal to x plus y y at 0 is equal to 1 for x is equal to 0, 0.0 to 1.0 this is the step size the h value is 0, 0.2 here check your answer with the exact solution so again we have to check so what is given so y dash is given as x plus y so which we'll consider as f of x comma y is equal to x plus y and again it's given that y naught is equal to y at 0 is equal to 1 which means y naught is equal to 1 and x naught value is 0 and the step size value h value is given as 0 0.2 and we have to use Euler's method here so according to the Euler's method so according to the Euler's method we have a formula that y n plus 1 so here y n plus 1 is equal to y naught plus h times of f of x n into y n so now I have to keep n is equal to 0. So if I keep n is equal to 0 here, then this will be y1 is equal to y0 plus h times of f of x0 and this is y0. So y1 is equal to, what is y0 here? So y0 is 1 and h value is 0 0.2 and f of what is x0? This is 0 comma y0 is again 1. So we have to use this function value. What is the function value here? f of x comma y is nothing but x plus y so if i use this then y1 is going to become 1 plus 0 0.2 times of this is 0 plus 1 so y1 is equal to 1 plus 0 0.2 and y1 is equal to 1.2 whereas x1 is equal to x naught plus h so what is x naught x naught value is 0 and h value is 0 0.2 this is 0 plus 0 0.2 and x1 is equal to 0 0.2 our x1 value is also ready so after getting these two so we have to go with the another approximation so here it is given that y of n plus 1 is equal to this is y n plus h times of f of x n y n this time i am going to keep n is equal to 1 then it will be 1 plus 1 this value is 2 and this is y1 plus h times of f of x1 and this is y1 so y2 is equal to what is x1 value x1 value is nothing but 1.2 plus h is nothing but 0.2 f of x1 so what is our x1 value this is 0.2 and y1 is this is 1.2 and y2 is equal to this is 1.2 plus 0.2 times of f of x comma y is nothing but x plus y so we have to add this x term as well as the y term so y2 value is equal to this is 1.2 plus 0.2 times of this is 1.4 so if i see in the calci then this value is equal to this is 1.2 plus this is 0 0.2 into this is 1.4 so the value here is 1.48 so y2 value is 1.48 and whereas x2 value is nothing but this is x1 plus h so what is x1 value x1 value is 0 0.2 plus again this is 0 0.2 and uh, x2 value is 0 0.4 so our x2 value is 0 0.4 so we got x2 as well as y2 and later we have to go with n is equal to 2 this time so if i go with n is equal to 2 in this formula see here so this formula is ready here that is y n plus 1 is equal to this is y n plus h times of f of x n into y n so if i go with n is equal to 2 here this will be 2 plus 1 this is 3 is equal to this is y2 plus h times of f of x2 y2 so y3 is equal to what is y2 value so y2 it is nothing but 1 point see here i am showing this one 1 1.48 plus h is nothing but 0 0.2 f of what is x2 this is 0 0.4 and y2 is 1.48 so y3 value is 1.48 plus 0 0.2 times of f of x comma y and show you from the question it is x plus y so we have to add up these two that is 1.4 plus 
1.48 so this value will be so if you see here this value will be 1.48 plus this is 0 0.2 into okay okay so this is c first of all this is 0 0.4 plus 1.48 into 0 0.2 plus 1.48 so this value is nothing but 1.856 1.856 and x3 value is nothing but this is x2 plus h so x3 is equal to what is our x2 value i am showing x2 value is 0 0.4 so this is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 and the x3 is equal to 0 0.6 so our x3 value is 0 0.6 after getting this value, so I have to go with the Euler's formulae that is yn plus 1 is equal to yn plus h times of f of xn yn. Now I am going to keep n is equal to 3 here. So this will be 3 plus 1, this value is 4. This is y3 plus h times of f of x3, this is y3. So y4 is equal to what is y3? Y3 value is 1 point, this is 1 point, this is 856 and what is our H value? This is 0 0.2 and F of X3, this is 0 0.6 comma Y3 is 1.856. So Y4 is equal to 1.856 plus 0 0.2 times of F of X comma Y is nothing but X plus Y. So if I use this calc, then this will be C. 0 0.6 plus 1.856 into 0 0.2 plus 1.856 and this value is 2 point see here this is 2.3472 and our x4 value is nothing but x3 plus h and x4 is equal to what is our x3 value this is 0 0.6 plus so this is 0 0.2 and x4 value is nothing but 0 0.8 so after getting these values here that is x4 is equal to 0 0.8 so we got x1 x2 x3 and x4 so if i write in a tabular form for our convenience see these are the euler's uh, values Euler's values. So, I have started with, see here, the first value here is x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. And the next, next this is uh, x0 and this is y0 value. And next one is x1, y1. So, these are x values and these are y values. What is x1, y1? x1 is 0 0.2. This is 0 0.2 and y1 is 1.2 and this is x2 and this is y1. So what is our x2 value? So x2 value if you see it is 0 0.4 and this is 1.48. This is 1.48 and x3 value here is, see here x3 is 0 0.6 and y3 value is 1.856. And this is 0 0.8 x power 4. So, this value is uh, 2.3472. And these values are y2, this is y3 and this is y4. This is from Euler's method. These values are from Euler's method. And in the question, it is asked to check your answers with the exact solution. So, again, we have to check with, we have to compare with. So, to compare with exact solutions. To compare with exact solutions so let's see so how to compare with an exact solution here it is given that so here it is given that y dash is equal to x plus y y dash is given as x plus y so y dash is nothing but dy by dx is equal to x plus y so this can be written as dy by dx minus y is equal to x so, this is the linear differential equation. So, this is of the form dy by dx plus py is equal to q. If I compare with this, our p value is minus 1 and in place of q, we have x. 
now the integrating factor is nothing but e to the power of integral p dx so this is e power minus 1 into dx which is equal to e power minus x after getting the integrating factor so this is the integrating factor if after getting integrating factor the what is the formula for the solution y into integrating factor is equal to integrating q into integrating factor of dx plus c so if i substitute that is y into e power minus x is equal to what is q here q is nothing but x x into e power minus x into dx so we have to imply integration by parts so what is the formula here u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus derivative of u integral v dx whole dx so this is integral u v dx formula so this is u and this is v if i substitute in this formula then this will be y is equal to e power minus x u i have to leave as it is v i have to integrate this is minus e power minus x minus integral derivative of u what is the derivative of u this is 1 and again i have to integrate this one that is minus e power minus x into dx so y into e power minus x is equal to minus x e power minus x this is again minus e power minus x plus c so y into e power minus x is equal to if i take minus common from this this will be x plus 1 into e power minus x plus c if i divide with e power minus x then this will be y is equal to minus of x plus 1 plus c into e power x so now we have to keep one substitution as x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 so if i y is equal to 1 if i take and x is equal to 0 then c anything to the power of 0 is 1 so 1 is equal to minus 1 plus c and c is equal to 1 plus n and c value is equal to 2 so if i substitute in the solution here so this value is the solution for this linear equation then y is equal to minus of x plus 1 plus 2 times of e power x so if i write properly here then y is going to become so y is equal to 2 into e power x minus x plus 1 so after getting this value see we have to substitute y at 0 0.2 this is so if i keep y at 0 0.2 in place of x if i write 0 0.2 this is 0 0.2 plus 1 so if you see if you check this one this is 2 into this is shift into in 0 0.2 value minus in brackets it is 0 0.2 plus 1 so the value here is 1.24 here y at 0 0.2 is equal to 1.24280 and the next if i keep y is equal to 0 0.4 then in this if i keep in place of x if i keep this is e power 0 0.4 minus this is 0 0.4 plus 1 so if i use this calc then see what will happen this is 2 into shift in into 0 0.4 minus this is 0 sorry 0 0.4 plus 1 so this value is 1 point therefore y at 0 0.4 is equal to 1.5836 so this value is 1.5836 some 364 and the next one if i keep y is equal to 0 0.6 so this is 2 into e power 0 0.6 minus this is 0 0.6 plus 1 so if you see this is 2 into shift into in 0 0.6 minus this is 0 0.6 plus 1 and what is this value this is 2 point y at 0 0.6 is equal to this is 2.04423 and y and the, lastly y at 0 0.8 is equal to this is 2 into e power 0 0.8 minus this is 0 0.8 plus 1 so this is 2 into shift into in sorry this is 2 into shift in into 0 0.8 minus this is 0 0.8 plus 1 if you observe this one this is 2 point y at 0 0.8 value is equal to 2.65108 
so here is the is the formula exact value and uh, we have to substitute all the values here see here I'll show you all the values here how to substitute and how to compare and these are all the x values first 0 this is 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.4 this is 0 0.6 and this is 0 0.8 this is 0 0.8 and see this is from the Euler values of y and this is exact values of y. So, let me show you, show you all the values here. Here the exact values are 1. At 0 0.2, the y value is 1. See here, this is 1.24. Y at 0 0.2 is 1.2428. And at 0 0.4, this value is 1.5836. And at 0 0.6, the value is 2.0442. And 0 0.8 is 2.65108. And here, just now, we use this table. According to the Euler's method, according to the Euler's method, the values here are 1. And for 0 0.2, it is 1.2. And 0 0.4, it is 1.48. And 0 0.6, it is 1.856. And 0 0.8 it is 2.3272 so after noting the y values according to the Euler's method and according to the exact solution so we notice that the values of y deviates from the exact values as x increases so that is why this modified so we are in the upcoming videos i am going to use modified Euler's method to get the exact y values so this is how we have to compare this is through Euler's method and this is through the exact solution. So there is a slight variation and in order to reduce that variation, so I am going to apply the another formula that is Euler's modified method. So hopefully those videos will be uploaded very soon and take these videos very seriously for your preparation and definitely you will be far ahead from where you are and keep practicing daily and keep informing through your comments. If you really like, please raise your thumb and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end.